guys happy friday i am working on my what's it called again ember sweater see i have i had abandoned this whip for so long that i even forgot what it was called so this is the ember sweater and i'm loving the look so far so this is from the neck the ribbing is a little bit too wide i think so i'm just gonna see how that looks after blocking and i might have to do some surgery on it but i'll see about that later and yeah i'm on to three color color work rows right now and yes they look like eggs but uh <laughs> i hope they won't uh when i'm finished i can't really see that but it's like elongated diamonds so i hope once i finish that section that it will actually look like a diamond and not like an egg yolk sunny side up egg um Yes, but um, other than that, I'm loving the colors that I'm using. They're all my hand dyed yarns, uh, except for the purple ones. Those are dyed by my friend Sandra, who is Sandra's Craftfulness on Instagram. But uh, this is my mustard colorway, which is dyed with birch leaves. I don't have any of this in stock right now, but I do have some other yellow yarns that would, um, you know, be a nice... Um, not match substitute that uh and the gray is momo and i do still have some uh momo left in stock just not on this base on a um a merino base 100 percent merino and so that's super super soft um and then the white one it's uh, I've always named it not quite white because it has a peachy overtone. This one is called What's for Dessert. Um, and I'm almost out of that, uh, although I don't think I need much more for the rest. So I'll see what to do about that um, if I uh, need a different color or, yeah, I'll see about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. I um, started this whip when I went to um, Switzerland with my mom, which was somewhere in October. And then afterwards I kind of um, did not pick it up again, mainly because I was so busy with other things. Um, and I can share about those things now. So I in October, November, I was really busy making the um, Molly makes. No, that was that was before. That was before I went even. So anyway, a new pattern of mine has come out in the new Molly Makes magazine, which is issue 114. Um, it's a really big, colorful um, mohair scarf. And I'll put a picture in right here. It's really long. <laughs> and you use the mohair double-stranded, so it's really, really thick and fluffy. Super, super cozy. It's uh, Scapius Rhythm Mohair. So that's a mohair that has no silk in it. Um, I've recently, well, I kind of knew all along, I think, but uh, for silk, the silkworms are actually killed during most uh, most processes. And um, with Escapius Mohair Rhythm, there's no silk used in the uh, yarn content. And usually with... Um, with mohair yarn, there is some kind of silk content. And yeah, the silk production at the moment is just, yeah. Um, I don't think it's it's uh, labeled animal cruelty yet, but yeah, the worms are killed. So I just want to, uh, want to uh, say that. So this is a no silk mohair. Um, and it was super, super quick to knit. Uh, I knitted on six millimeter needles, so, you know, it uh, flew by. Um, and of course I made it super long, so you can make it shorter if you like. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I did that, and uh, I worked on a lot of patterns in November. One of them, the one Blink for Yes socks, the other one, this fox plushie and then two commissions which I have sent off 
and will not be published until late next year. But uh, yeah, Whew, just finishing this pattern yesterday, that has kind of been the point where I can just breathe and let everything go. Uh, I realized I've done so much this this month. Oh, I even I forgot to mention the Vlogmas cowl. That was a bit of a spur of the moment thing. Um, I think it was one of the fastest patterns I've ever written. Um, and I'm so, so pleased seeing all of the projects popping up now on Instagram and on Ravelry. Uh, so if you're working on it, be sure to uh, post a picture on social media, tag me in it. Don't be afraid to tag me and stuff. Um, I mean, in um, uh, photos that are of my patterns and stuff. So I really, really love to see that. Um, yeah, but today I'm just really uh, unwinding a little bit. Um, I think I'm taking the full week off next week. <sighs> I just, I didn't think I needed, but I do need it. So yeah, I'm taking that week off. Of course, I'm still doing Vlogmas, so it's not, it's not completely work-free. But um, yeah, I'm just uh, looking forward to working on samples instead of looking at my screen. And um, yeah, that would be nice. And the color work just really helps to get my mind off of things because uh, color work, I don't know, it's just uh, when I just started out knitting, just plain knitting used to occupy my brain so much that I could not think of anything else and that was really relaxing because you don't think about anything other than what you're working on. Uh, so that was really therapeutic but then of course uh, as you get more uh, advanced in knitting, you can kind of do it alongside other things. But that's not the case with color work knitting, so you really have to pay attention. And again, so this is really relaxing for me right now. Same with uh, lace knitting. Uh, you also have to pay attention there. I'm also working on a lace scar a shawl, so that would be actually really good to work on next week. Yeah, but I'm just... Uh, Happy to have a little bit of downtime. I'm gonna reflect a little bit on this year and um, not rush into 2020 uh, with all these new ideas without reflecting on this year and what worked and what didn't work. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have some thoughts about that. And uh, But most of all, good ones because this has been a really, really great year. I've been able to quit my job to pursue my dream and uh, it has not disappointed so far. I really hope I never have to return to a desk job because it drains the life out of me. <laughs> oh, and uh, I realize how lucky I am so a lot of people might want to quit their day, day job but not have the freedom to do so and I realize how lucky I am so I'm really really thankful. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm just going to take it easy today. I have a little bit more to do, but um, yeah, other than that, I'm just going to take it easy and take care of myself. Um, yeah, so I'll be sharing some uh, snippets of my day, and after that, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Oh, <laughs> <laughs>